Hello, and welcome to this video on the latest updates on the Public Service Alliance of Canada, PSAC, strike. PSAC is one of Canada's largest federal public sector unions, and their ongoing strike has been causing disruptions across the country. In this video, we'll be providing you with all the information you need to know about this ongoing strike, the issues at play, and the potential impact on both PSAC members and the general public. The Public Service Alliance of Canada, or PSAC, represents more than 180,000 federal public sector workers across Canada. These workers include employees of the federal government, as well as workers in a variety of other federal agencies and organizations. PSAC has been engaged in a strike since late last year, with negotiations between the union and the federal government having broken down. The main issue at play in this strike is wages. PSAC is seeking a wage increase for their members that is in line with inflation, while the federal government has offered a wage increase that falls short of this. Other issues at play in the negotiations include sick leave, job security, and work-life balance. The strike has had a significant impact on both PSAC members and the general public. Many government services and programs have been disrupted, with delays and backlogs in areas such as passport and visa processing, employment insurance claims, and tax refunds. In addition, PSAC members themselves have been experiencing financial hardship due to the lack of pay during the strike. Despite several rounds of negotiations, PSAC and the federal government have not been able to reach a resolution. However, there have been some recent developments in the negotiations. PSAC has agreed to suspend strike action at the Canada Revenue Agency, which will allow tax season to proceed smoothly. In addition, PSAC has agreed to return to the bargaining table with the federal government. That's all for this video on the latest updates on the PSAC strike. We hope that you found this information helpful and informative. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on this ongoing situation.